I'll take it away. Hi, Ronnie. Um, okay, Michael Allen, go ahead. Hey, Ronnie, tough result out there tonight. Um, can you talk a little bit about the construction of the back line that you started off with tonight with um, obviously with James Sands and Alexander Collins and uh, Sean Johnson out of the defense? It was sort of a, a new look back there that we had with Alfredo Morales in there. Um, can you talk about uh, the decision to play him in that back three role in the first and then to keep him in um, in the back four in the second half? Because he, I think he has a, can be a really good central defender. Um, he's good on the ball. He's strong in the air. He's a leader type, and he's uh, he's, uh, he's a good to winning balls. So uh, he has played some games there before, and I think he he played good, um, especially as in a back three. And the back two, we had the instant with the goal, uh, but um, and back four, but. Um, but after that, we controlled it. We conceded three goal, three goal chances today. So this was not the defense was the problem today. Uh, again, they are very effective. We are not, we're not creating enough today. We win the ball so many times in good situation. We should have taken advantage of this situation. We don't do it. And then in the end, we get punished. Um, so a um, little bit disappointed in that, of course. But um, we, we wanted to go to a more offensive formation uh, when we put Thiago on, because he's not a fullback uh, winger and then we went to a back four uh, we knew we were going to have can be exposed a bit in, the, in behind uh, but we were thinking that we we go for a victory uh, this, then they, they had the, the one play in behind and they get the goal and then of course the game uh, get more difficult and we were pushing hard in the end um, putting on everything we had of offensive power uh, but uh, we couldn't get it in so um, a little bit disappointed that we don't create more, uh, but at the same time we, we create at the same or maybe more than they they do. So so it's a, it's an even game and we we can't do the final final thing inside the boxes. Thanks, Ronnie. Chris Campbell. Hey, Ronnie. Um, uh, Montreal came out uh, with a very aggressive high press. Was that something that you guys anticipated coming in? And uh, what were the, the thoughts to try to break that? It seemed like there were some, some opportunities where there was some possession in the back, but um, to, to, to break that and get the, uh, the, the numbers going forward didn't seem like that quite happened. We played 3 by 2 from behind, and we get overloaded over, over and again, especially in the start of the game. We come into very good positions. We go 1-0 up, deservedly. Um, I think we, we were dying out a little bit into the, into the end of the half. Uh, the first 30 minutes, I think we are the best team. So, uh, and then it's a very easy penalty situation uh, they get. Um, and the second half is a very open game. Uh, the two teams that uh, doesn't create so much, but at the same time, very even. Um, and then we try to be more offensive. There's, uh, there's no doubt that the, the lineup in the beginning is a more control defense team with three central backs and two full backs uh, as a wingers almost um, and, uh, and Keaton as a number eight so um, but uh, we control them we want to, especially away it's important to control the games defensively um, and we did that very well but we didn't create enough that's uh, that's something last third of the the pitch we have opportunities there we win the ball in really good situations we have, that's the small passes that we have to get right Maltis winning the ball from the goalkeeper just play it in and we can we should be alone with the goalkeeper. But we can't make it right. And then um, we get punished in the end. Okay, Scott Churchin. Coach, obviously this is a, a tough loss, as tough as you can get coming out of the, uh, the, the break that you had. But I wanted to talk a little bit about Barraza. Um, give me your thoughts on his performance tonight. Uh, what do you say to him after something like this? And where do you go from here? Thanks. I think he did well. I can't blame him for the penalty situation. That's a penalty, it's a penalty, and the, the goal as well. I, I haven't seen it one more time, but I think he does what he can do. Um, so, um, so he, uh, for me, uh, has a good one, good save, and yeah, uh, in the first half as well, and was good in his distribution with this ball. So, um, to be his first game in the MLS, it's a uh, it's a good start. Michael Ander. Actually, Nicole, my question was just asked, so I'm uh, I'm good. I'll pass. Great, uh, Christian Smith. 
How's it going, Ronnie? So very different shape this week and different personnel than we're used to seeing due to international duty and missing three key players. What do you think was the hardest decision uh, lineup wise that you had to make this week? Which is one that you had to ponder over like the longest? I was like, uh, how to defend. We decided to go with three uh, central defenders. Um, I think that was the right decision when I see it afterwards. When we went to two, we get uh, we, we we struggled a little bit with their strikers. They were strong, um, and they play a lot uh, on two big, fast strikers, and uh, and have a uh, Mihailovic in between the lines. So, I think we were good prepared for that. Uh, but we do two easy mistakes. Uh, I think it's no shape wise. It's more more about individual things. So it happens there uh, that give them a chance. But having said that, to concede three goal chances uh, during a game. That's that's not so bad uh, away. Uh, that's something we live with. But uh, again, they're more effective than us. John Lupo. <clears throat> uh, Ronnie, it seemed like you had some chances out there, but you weren't able to finish. Was it more product of what they were doing defensively, or was it just the fact that you guys, for whatever the reason, weren't able, you know, to put those chances away tonight? One more time, please. I didn't hear it. I what I said was. You got you had some chances tonight, but it seemed was it more that what they were doing defensively, or was it more that for whatever the reason you guys just weren't able to finish tonight? I think it's both ways. You know, we we give away too much, a little too easy. The the, the the things they get, and also we have to take our chances more, especially when we have them unbalanced. Um, so it's uh, it's uh, it's offensively and defensively. Because we control the game quite well, we have. It doesn't. I doesn't feel that we get out in any way. It uh, was uh, up to two strong strikers that we we had little trouble with, but uh, at the same time we we caused them also trouble when we switch the play and we get into lost third. But was too little um, passes forward and accurate uh, enough in the last third, uh, and also maybe play a little bit too much sideways, but. Uh, of course, that's a little bit with the heat as well. Uh, when you come down here, it's uh, it's not so easy to go in the normal tempo that we we have. So, um, I think uh, to sum up, I think it's both, both defensively and offensively we don't take our chances and we concede a little bit too easy. Okay, we'll do one more, uh, Michael Allen. Yeah, just sort of to follow up on that, what you just said with the with the heat and the the conditions down there and everything, um, you didn't make the the final big sub push until the 81st minute of the second half, um, but the they scored on the 73rd and went ahead. Is can you just give a, a little explanation of why it took so long to get the um, you know Magno and um, uh, Medina and those guys onto the pitch? I think I do a mistake to do that. Uh, that's switching the. Uh... 72 minutes because I switched Thiago in and I went changed the four, and I knew that we were gonna have trouble in behind because there were two strong striker up for the front. So um, there was more that I shouldn't do that decision, uh, in my opinion, that I can take care of my own uh, own uh, uh, blame. Um, and then uh, we have to go for it, and then we put in uh, the what we have. Uh, we can have Andres maybe also, but uh, we took our offensive players and put on, and I think we get a good uh, finish of the game. But um, I don't think we will concede that goal if we had kept on playing three. But I wanted to have Thiago on. I wanted to have a more offensive style in the end of the game, and that um, that we get punished for. Thanks, man.